right now. Oh my God. Hello. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Oh my God, I'm good. How are you? I am well. We'll switch out the mic a little bit later on. So, how old are you? I am 30 years old. 30 years old. So, what are we going to talk about? The fear and the laziness in modern dating, or what? What are we talking about? Mm, let's talk about laziness. All right. Subscribe now. I have been married for 12 years and I have two kids. Okay. How old is your youngest? Uh, she's about to be nine on the 14th. Do you have any sisters? I have three sisters and about brothers. How many brothers? Nine. From all from one mother and father? No, my dad is married. Oh, dad. okay. God damn. I was like, is your mother still able to walk? I'm just kidding. So, are your sisters married? Uh, yes, except the youngest. She's not married. She's kind of like cuckoo, so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said she's called cuckoo. <laughs> cuckoo? No, not the cuckoo. Uh, well, what, okay, so how old is your youngest sister? She is 23. Okay, and what, when she, you said she went cuckoo, what is it? I mean, she's just mama's kid, you know? Mm -hmm. My mom spoiled the two last ones. And ah. Yes. They'll get a little bit, and they're like, I'll just get up out of here. So what advice would you give? What advice are you giving? going to give to your daughters about? I'm just setting yeah. a good example. Okay. Setting a good example, great. But what are you going to tell them? What are you going to tell your daughter she needs to do regarding a man? Men. Okay. So, um, oh, oh God, this is hard. Yeah. Um, let me tell you why. It is whenever you're, you know. Let me, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you why. Because you can show them something, but if we, what happens is you ladies don't tell your daughters, a man is necessary for this and this, and a man is necessary for this and this. And because a man is necessary and you want him, you need to do this and this and this and this and this for a man in order to keep the man that you find that is necessary. Okay, can I say all the stuff I do? No. Imagine, they don't speak adult. Uh, no, but I'm setting a very good example. I work out every day. I'm a personal trainer, real estate. I bring her with me to places. Her father works very hard for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I do the cleaning, the cooking, the paying all the bills, all of that. And she knows that because her father works and he provides for mm -hmm. us. And uh, I, this is all the stuff I do. Okay. Well, I've been running this show for almost going on a better part of a year and a half. Right. And I've talked to women around the world who do what you do and thought they were setting an example and their daughters didn't get the information. I spent about 20 minutes talking to a woman last night with four daughters. So I need you to imagine, just imagine for the sake of that you're wrong. Just, just imagine that you're wrong. But can it, I say- No, 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 you, 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 so you gotta listen. Okay. You gotta imagine, what if you're not right? Are you willing, is it that important to be right or is it more important to look at the facts on the ground and say, you know what? Maybe he has a point. Maybe I need to show and tell. You're right. Okay, then why not make sure? What's the problem with telling? Okay, well, can I tell you a little bit about my background and how? Well, I we got to we, we got to get we got to get through it though, because I got other people. So I want to understand. I mean, I'm not disputing, but what I'm saying is, no disrespect, ma'am, but you ladies all want to be right. And the problem is the, the relationships are falling apart because women aren't engaging in relationships like they used to. And the young women are saying, they, we weren't taught. So you, I can show you how to do math. Right. I can show you how to bake a pie, but I need to give you instructions and tell you why. You're right. You're a personal trainer, right? I am, yes, I you am. You can show them how to do the, the techniques but you need to tell them why they're doing it to make it connect. You're right. You're right about that's that. All, that's all I'm saying. Right about that. But I'm just teaching them what I know. Coming from a family, a very big family, actually, which my mom was barely there, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm doing the best of my ability that I can. What if it ain't good enough? I don't know that. And it's, it's see, like... And see, that's what I need you to understand. 
Put your ego to the side. Because it always goes to, you know, anytime I give women constructive criticism, even the nicest of you get defensive. It's like, well, I'm doing the best that I can. Okay. How many, how many people come through the door and say, you know what, I come from a family who had bad diet and, and, and I can't stem. I'm doing the best that I can. And you're like, yeah, but the best isn't getting your outcome. Right. Uh, I came from the Middle East and I came through the war. I came through BS ran for my life. So I think that what I have now here, I appreciate every minute of it. Every second of it, I appreciate every little thing in life. We're not talking about you, though. Talking talk about the, we're talking about, the, you're talking about the girls, the daughters. Yeah. And see, I think this is a good conversation because this whole, this, the sign language, the need to be right is so evident in so many women in the West. It's hard for you guys to imagine that you may even at your best, okay. See, we used to have a village concept. You did what you would do for your family. Another one would do what they would do. But everybody had a stake in it. But today, nobody can tell anybody anything. So, right. what if, so what if your neighbor, what if your neighbor is raising the son that's supposed to marry your daughter, right? And your neighbor is teaching, he's showing his son. He's showing his son. But he didn't tell it. Then he gets with your daughter, and because he was shown but not told, he can't protect, provide, and do what he needs to do. You're going to want your daughter to be in that situation? Are you going to go to him and hear? And you're going to say, "I showed him." No. You're going to say, "But okay, then." So we got to, we have, we have to show and tell because, like it or not, in the West, relationships are not are falling apart, and it's right. us as the adults, the grown-ups, that have to realize that maybe we didn't, maybe. Thousands of years they were able to do this stuff. Why did it start falling apart in the last 70 years? Because we got too damn smart. We're all too smart. We all think we know everything because we got access, a library card and access to the internet. Maybe we should go back two, 3,000 years. People knew how to do this shit long before Google existed. Just a thought. Just a thought. I agree with you. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.